Welcome back to Final Score Friday. Sponsored by Richmond Pediatric Dentistry and Orthodontics and Loyalty Automotive. And welcome back to Final Score Friday. Another big thank you to the cheerleaders from Hermitage for joining us tonight in the studio, even after their game was taking that took place last night. Now there were just a handful of games that actually played tonight. We've seen two of them already. Our third is another of those public versus private school matchups that now, thanks to the revamp VHSO rules, we can see more frequently. Yeah, Collegiate and Goochland have only met twice before, in fact, each of the past two seasons, but it gives the Cougars another game on their schedule when opponents can be scarce. And for the Bulldogs, it's an opponent they don't have to drive very far to face. In fact, all three games so far have been played at Goochland. The Cougars had won the first two. Shout out to Goochland principal Brian Hahn and his son Dawson, who has an awesome fire truck that he will show anybody who asks. Second quarter, big night for Cougars quarterback Jack Callahan. 14 0 already. 11 yard touchdown pass to Peyton Dunn makes it 21 0. Then Callahan again. 12 yards to LJ Booker. 28 0 at the half. Third quarter, Callahan's going to go up top 34 yards to Ben Street. Six touchdown passes tonight Ooh. for Callahan as the Cougars pitch a shutout 41 to nothing over the Bulldogs. Back to last night's action. Ladies, the Herman is Panthers making the short trip to take on Cross County rival Henrico. The last three games have been blowouts. Not last night. First quarter, Ben Yine, the nine yard pass to Andre Clark Jr. 7 0 Panthers. But back come Henrico. Javon Rush picked off by Jerron Harris by Herman is that big your pardon returns it all the way down to the 13 that will lead to Clark again coming through 13 yard touchdown 16 nothing Panthers led at the break and hung on to go to one and one on the year with a 19 14 win over him right there. down to Hampton Roads for another first time meeting between Benedictine and Western Branch. The Bruins knocked Manchester out of the class six playoffs last year. Mm -hmm. First quarter Western Branch. This isn't a blown play. Kynique Baines, gonna get it. Whoa. He's just gone 48 yards on the touchdown, and the Bruins had a 7-0 lead. But Benedictine comes back. Cody Shelton on fourth down finds Rodri Williams, Mick Williams rather, excuse me, game tied at seven. Then Shelton on a touchdown run, which would cap an 80-yard drive for the cadets who get an impressive win on the road to open the season 31-13 over the Bruins. From yesterday afternoon, Thomas Jefferson, their only home game on campus this fall, hosting Meadowbrook. The Monarchs, our reigning team of the week. They were looking to go 2-0 for the first time since 2011, but it didn't start off well. Miles Anderson off the opening kick. He's making a house call. He goes the distance for the touchdown. Vikings up 6-0 after the missed PAT. We go into the second quarter. TJ driving. Tykeese Rivas fighting his way towards the goal line. Comes up just inches short of pay dirt. Rashad Cherry will cap it off on the next play with a one-yard score. Vikings give Eric Harris his first career head coaching victory. A 32-7 victory over Meadowbrook. Up to Hanover for the Hawks season opener, hosting Monaghan. Monaghan trying to avoid starting 0-2 for a second straight year. First quarter, Peyton Seelman, one of the players that head coach Sam. Excuse, there's the interception right there. Picked off Turner Johnson, and that would set up Nolan Chris, 10-yard touchdown pass to Malachi Madden. And the Hawks had a quick 7-0 lead. Second quarter, Johnson picked off again by Lane Zyglock. Love the first name. Gazutite. That would set up another Chris touchdown pass to Madden. This one from 18 yards. Hawks first season opening shutout in nine years as they beat the Chiefs 26 to nothing. One last game to go and the rest of your week two scores when Final Score Friday returns.